In this video, we look at one more example of the root test, um, so we can see some of the other types of indeterminate forms that might show up. Uh, so notice here that the root test is going to be appropriate because I do have my terms here being raised to something that includes um, a power of n. It's not just to n, it's actually to the 2n squared, um, but taking the nth root of this in the root test will help us simplify what we need to look at a little bit. So we're going to try the root test. So I need to find the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of my term. So my terms are n over n plus 1 to the 2n squared, and I need to take the 1 over n root of that. Um, I don't need my absolute value bars here because I do have something that's always positive. So notice that this means I'm looking at the limit as n goes to infinity of n over n plus 1 to the 2n power. Okay, when I do a power to a power, I multiply those, so that's going to become 2n squared over n, or just to the 2n power. So notice that the inside here, n over n plus 1, will be going to 1 as n goes to infinity, and 2n will be going to infinity. So this is a 1 to the infinity indeterminate form. So when we have one of these power indeterminate forms, we have a sequence of steps that we need to follow to try to get it into um, a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity type form so that we can make use of L'Hopital's rule. But whenever I'm going to do something that's going to end up involving L'Hopital's rule, I need to make sure I'm working with a function here. Since n is only integer valued, it's not going to make sense for me to, to do things with, with derivatives in terms of n. So we're going to let f of x be equal to x over x plus 1 to the 2x, and look at the limit as x goes to infinity of x over x plus 1 to the 2x. So the trick in dealing with these power indeterminate forms is to make use of the relationship that we have between exponential and log functions. So notice that I can write this as the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the log of x over x plus 1 to the 2x, because e to the log of this would just equal x over x plus 1 to the 2x. Um, what we're doing here is, is a review of how to handle these, these power indeterminate forms like 1 to the infinity that's explained back in um, section 4.4 on all of our different indeterminate forms um, and L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so this is, is a review, but it may be a little while since you've, you've done this. So using log rules, we can say that this is the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the 2x times log of x over x plus 1. So we were able to turn that um, 1 to the infinity type form here now into a product, but it's still an indeterminate form because x over x plus 1 is going to 1, so log of 1 would be 0, um, x would be infinity, so this is now like an infinity times 0 again, indeterminate form. Okay, so I can't quite use um, L'Hopital's rule on this yet. Um, but notice that I could rewrite that exponent there as e to the 2 log x over x plus 1 divided by 1 over x. Okay, oftentimes the technique for turning um, an indeterminate product into a quotient is divide by the, the reciprocal of the other term. So notice now this log of x over x plus 1 as x goes to infinity is going to 0, because I have log of 1 that this would be going to, which is equal to 0. And 1 over x as x goes to infinity is also going to the 0. So that's a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. So then we're allowed to use L'Hopital's rule on that power. Okay. So uh, because I don't want to keep writing this e to that thing, I'm just going to say we're looking at, um, let's see, the limit of this thing where the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over log, um, excuse me, 2 times log of x over x plus 1 over 1 over x is going to be equal to a limit where we implement L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so now we're going to use our L'Hopital's rule because we do have something that's 0 over 0. So I'm going to have to do 2 times my derivative of my log function. So remember that the derivative of um, log of like g of x would be g prime of x over g of x. So I'm going to have to do a quotient rule and then times 1 over this fraction, which will end up being the reciprocal of that. 
So let's see if we have enough room to write it over here. So I'm going to have that bottom function, x plus 1, times the derivative of the top of x, um, minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom function, all over the bottom function squared. Okay, that's for the derivative of the inside piece here. And then I have to do that divided by x over x plus 1, or times x plus 1 over x. Okay, And then this is all divided by whoops, my derivative of 1 over x, which will be negative 1 over x squared. Okay, so now we just need to look at simplifying this so we can figure out what this limit is going to. Um, notice that the numerator up here, this would be x plus 1 minus x, so that'll just be 1. This will be over x plus 1 squared, and then I have x plus 1 over x, and this is all divided by negative 1 over x squared, or times x squared over negative 1. Okay. Notice that this x plus 1 over x plus 1 squared is going to become just x plus 1 in the denominator. So we have this limit as x goes to infinity. I can make this negative 2x squared here for the numerator um, divided by x times x plus 1. Okay, so we're looking at the limit as x goes to infinity of negative 2x squared over x squared plus x. Okay, so as x goes to infinity, we know that if I have the same power, highest power of x in the numerator and denominator, the limit will be just equal to the ratio of those coefficients. So I see that my limit is negative 2. Okay, so this isn't quite my final answer because this is what we found for what this power is going to. Okay, so we can say so. Our limit as x goes to infinity x over x plus 1 to the 2x is going to be equal to e to the negative 2. Okay, so we showed that um, with these log and, and exponent rules here, I could write this power here to, as this limit of e to the log to the power. We brought the power down, we rewrote it here using our 2 times the log um, divided by our reciprocal of x divided by 1 over x. And then I found that this limit here, using Lobby-Tell's rule, was going to negative 2. So then my limit as x goes to infinity will of, of this whole thing will be e to the negative 2, okay, which is exactly what we got here. So we can say so our limit as n goes to infinity of n over n plus 1 to the, whoops, I wrote to the 2x here. Yep, okay, that was what we had up there, to the 2n. Problems that are long like this, we got to remind ourselves what we were doing. This is equal to e to the negative 2, or 1 over e squared, which is definitely less than 1. So we can say, so the series does converge by the root test. So we won't see this particular type often, but I wanted to make sure you saw an example reminding you how these um, power indeterminate forms would work. Let me know if you have any questions.